So let's dive into the top eight calendar applications of 2022. Welcome to Keep Productive. If you're brand new, please do hit subscribe. It'd be great to have you. We do plenty of productivity app reviews and top tens like this. Now, as you can imagine, calendar applications are a great way to centralize your productivity, to see everything that you're working on, whether that's appointments, events, or even a method called time blocking, which is effective for being able to do things like deep work. Our sponsor for this video is AmpleNote, a note-taking application with powerful task management. And before we begin, I want to hone in on three features. Number one is Task Score. AmpleNote collects all the tasks from your notes to create a sorted to-do list. Tasks that are urgent, important, or quick to get done accumulate more task score. The second feature is a two-way sync with one or more Outlook calendars. And finally, your team can collaborate in a shared workspace simply by tagging a note with a shared tag. When writing together, it's super useful to add a footnote with some extra details or even an image or a tweet or a spreadsheet. A huge thanks to Ampernote for coming on and sponsoring this video. Now, our first application on our list is Fantastic Out Free, and this is developed by a company called Flexibits. Well, this application is very attractive. It's very well built and available for iOS and the likes of Mac. However, it won't be extendable to the likes of web or Android, but it is a great application on Apple devices. Now, it does come with a fairly premium pricing of $39.99 per year. However, inside of that package, you get some great upgrades to your calendar experience. And I believe there is a free plan which you can enjoy. But the calendar app itself has some great features like being able to see the weather, being able to connect your Todoist and manage your tasks alongside your calendar, and also to be able to manage your Google Calendar and a wide variety of calendar applications in this one app. Now, second on our list is Calendars 5. Now, this is developed by a company called Readle, which are really well known in the productivity space, even for developing apps like SparkMail, uh, which is a super popular email app. But Calendars 5 is a great iOS only application, which offers you a really simple calendar experience, but it comes with some great views. I actually previously used this before um, a couple of years ago. We have a review on it and it has some great viewing options, which means you can see your week ahead, maybe even two weeks ahead in this optionality that you don't get with some other calendar applications. Number three is Google Calendar. Now, Google Calendar sometimes, because it's native, much like Apple Calendar and Microsoft Outlook, they go really unnoticed. And I wanted to highlight it here. It has a great design, both on mobile and on web, and it has some great plugins on web, which help you to take it further and being able to connect it with other such applications in the space in terms of your Google Workspace. Now with Google Calendar on mobile, there's even a feature that helps you go a little bit further called Google Calendar Goals. So for example, let's say you wanna set maybe yoga three times a week, it'll help you to plan that and start targeting towards your goal. It uses sort of what's in your calendar to find slots that are best suited. Now next up, number four is Moleskin Time Page. Now this is developed by the Moleskin Studio, which actually have a few other applications, to-do list application and a note taker that they have in their line up and Moleskine time page is stunning it's I would say it's the most gorgeous of all of the uh, calendar applications in the space. It's only limited to iOS, but it does look stunning, allowing you to change color palettes and even really go into high level of detail on your customization. It even, if you answer the location, it even gives you prompts on when to leave for that time um, based on traffic and information like that. And also when things like weather are gonna be coming um, your way. And it has some beautiful interactions and animations throughout this application. Now, next up is time Tree. This is a bit of a strange one because it's been growing in popularity for the sake that it is quite a social application. You can subscribe to other friends' calendars. It is widely available on Android and iOS as well. And it's actually been growing in the sort of social space as a sort of collaborative calendar for organizing and managing your day ahead. Now, I have to include the link in the description. So Time Tree is an interesting one, uh, one to keep on your radar for sure. Number six is Microsoft Outlook Calendar. Now, this comes with Outlook but it is a stunning experience and that's the main reason behind that is because Microsoft actually acquired a company called Sunrise a few years ago five or so years ago now but basically they used the design 
uh, that Sunrise had inside of this application and it works great and it does have a great on desktop version as well which a lot of people credit to be one of the betterly designed applications out there. So next up number seven is an app called Clockwise. Now this isn't actually a dedicated calendar application it is one that plugs into something like your Google Calendar but essentially helps you to allocate busy and focused periods of time to work. So if you have a, a pretty stacked calendar with loads of meetings it helps you to recorrect that calendar giving you more time to focus on work at hand this is growing and we're set to do a revised review on it so do stay tuned to the keep productive channel if you wanted more insights on how clockwise works now next up our final one is number eight and it's called cozy now this application is more of a family planner so if you wanted to be able to collectively um, have all of your family's calendar events up uh, especially if you've got a quite digital family and you and your family like to see stuff all in application in real time then this could be a good one for you it definitely is much more tailored for sort of small families that are looking to manage their busy schedules make sure they don't collide with each other whether they're planning and organizing uh, on the go so before we end i always like to give a few um, comments about the future of the calendar application market and obviously there's a bit of a current crisis because one application we reviewed last year called woven calendar we thought this was going to be the front runner but actually decided to be bought by Slack. Um, as you can imagine, that sort of was a real shame. But there's a few calendar applications that have sort of got more attention in the market. The first one is Daybridge. It's not actually launched yet, but I feel like this could be a nice sort of middle ground in allowing you access to uh, a really reliable application, but also uh, the ability to see all of your social stuff, all of the different calendars you have in one location. There's also a few others like Magical and Mayday, which look quite interesting. And I think should be on your radar for the future. In my opinion, the calendar space is slowly evolving, but it's going to have a lot of attention in 2022 as people start to work out that the calendar market is quite rich and definitely needs that innovation after the likes of Woven leaving. Anyway, folks, a big thank you for stopping by in today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please do make sure you subscribe and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.